they call an advertisement. And it just keeps echoing. I hope everyone's enjoying this wonderful Amazon service called Twitch.tv. You are watching Mint Potion on a little help today. That's what they call an advertisement. And it just keeps echoing. I hope hey. everyone's enjoying this wonderful Amazon service called Twitch.tv. You are watching Mint Potion. I'm just, it's going to get worse, don't worry. I'm watching the stream. Hey, James Rogers, what's going on? Hey, everyone in chat. Thanks for hanging out. Today, I'm going to do some weird stuff. Um, we have some interesting projects around and about, and I do a lot of research and development around here. Today I'm researching, um, <clears throat> WIs with Unity. Um, I would have started it from complete scratch, but I really forgot where I left off, so I guess we're going to start there. Um, when you install WIs, let's see, let me get a copy of that here. I'm also in chat, my name's Ben. Uh... I'm, I'm this guy, also Angry Crow, aka, I guess, also known as Rapid Run. Hello, welcome, hello, yo, look at the top of my head as I stare at the chat on my small window. A sl smaller screen. Hmm, so, when you install the viewers, let me actually get the page up so you can look at it. Uh, WIs is a tool by this company, Audio Kinetic. Uh, let's see. I'm also going to launch launch it. Um, let me get this window up in here. So, the WIs advantage. WIs is an audio tool. You can use for layering and synchronizing events. I want to make a new project. Let me also get WIs all gigantic. Uh, yeah, just you, go, go to the other desktop, go, go, and this is what it looks like, let's make a new project, let's see what happens, <laughs> so the default originals directory name, uh, WIS get, is the name of the project, um, documents, WIS projects, uh, I want to add another platform, because we're not actually operating on Windows. I guess we'll be doing OS X. Or Mac. <laughs> That's a great name. Cool. Thanks. Cool, let's remove that. And this is a tool that we use for making dynamic audio events and scripting audio mixing. So that's pretty cool. You guys are here. Are. I need a project. My scratch pad, um, which my audio is like super. Um, so what does what does um 
audio wise just organizes your your existing audio files like is that something if you already had a project that had audio in it hmm. my audio no it's oh. this is a system for dynamics what's up oh Thought he was on four. All right. <laughs> Thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so each of these projects, or each of these folders, except for a couple of them, are good. All right. Is this thing on? Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, we can both talk. Hey, now. chat, it's on. Hopefully, I can be heard again. Audio Sorry. is crapping out. Yeah, we were um Sorry, crossing, was... we were crossing streams. Yeah, <sighs> um, which is a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> so I can live with that. So I really have no idea what I'm doing with this. Got WI's menu workflow setup wizard. This is all stuff that WI does. Here's what OB here's what WI's looks like. So I'm gonna open up a project that I have in WI's. Whoa, it's loading. So maybe I'll cancel making a new project because it actually is loading that project over here on this other desktop. Boing. Whoa, that was like not useful at all. Can I make a good wine loader? I wonder if it's running off of a Windows emulation or a not a non emulation. Yeah, I'm going go. That's that's weird. I need to clean up my face. But that's not going to stop me. Anyway, let me grab uh, Safari so I can look at chat. You guys don't need that. Anyway, here's what you do. So you go here, audiokinetic.com slash download. You can get WIs, get the installer. It actually really quickly integrates into your project, and that's kind of where I left off. So you're meeting me at the beginning. <clears throat> Who's here? It's pronounced Ys, not WIs. Crap! I just, I didn't want to skip over well, wise. <laughs> also, it would be really difficult to find if it was just called wise. Um, but now I know. So thank you for that. Um, let's see. Do I have my project up here? <sighs> so we have sound banks. We have what looks like a giant view meter. I actually don't have many sound effects. So we're going to have to download some. I have a, an email, actually that has some of the audio that I want to mess with. So let me log in real quick. Grab that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Ben at mintpotion.com. If you want to get in touch with me, that's cool with me. I answer emails pretty regularly. Um, live by the Gmail. Die by the Gmail. Let's grab these MP3s real quick. Downloading. So let's have a look at these different panels, yeah? We have audio, maybe source, events, sound bank. Um, McPherson Sound, I noticed, you know this thing, you know what this thing's called? Um, according to, according to its created, oh, okay. The, uh, McPherson, do you have experience with this tool set? If so, I would love uh, a great starting point. I mean, there was a Paradoxygen, and somebody else a year ago got me, like, kick-started or head, like, just running straight into learning uh, After Effects. So now we have, like, relatively decent After Effects here, you know, one step at a time. But today, Rap and Run, I'm going to be working on integrating WIs with Unity, and that might require some tut tutelage. I don't know, I, don't, I definitely don't want to do um, their certification program. I just want to see what tutorials I have. Ideally, they wouldn't have, let's see.
Insulation guy. They have laundry click into project. Yes, Unity project, new project. Did all of this for Unity. Specify the platforms. Yes, yes. For Unreal, make a modification. The radio buttons, insulation off, uh, yes. Copy into project directory, then apply syringes if successful. Yes, yes. Click integrate, which we've done. Hmm. But I should be able to um, loop audio and have game events synchronized um, from script events in this tool. We have a new event coming up. We'll have a private monthly gaming tournament running through Twitch somehow, some way, according to our robot. Um, let's see. So basically, I want to find, when I'm learning a new tool like this, like you guys are at this level, you know, if you've checked out our site, or not our site, if you checked out the Audio Kinetic site, I've pretty much gotten this far. I clearly have a project, <laughs> and, I, and I have Unity, and something that is linked for that, right? And I've opened in Unity. I don't know, let's just press these buttons. It looks like another uh, instance. Oh, no, it's down on the time. Oh, we destroyed it. Let's there is a... Huh? There's a sample project. There is somewhere. Yeah, Ch Chuck W or sorry, Chuck Y sample project. Um, and it goes through like a 101 setup and all that stuff. Pretty dope. Okay. Could it be under samples? What is this? Oh, I'm not about to watch the video. This plus the Y structured adventure. Hmm. <clears throat> the W Y is, uh, if I Attempted to answer this question before. I'm just going to try again. <laughs> WS is used in the game industry and I'm sure other places for generating audio events, like mixing audio, um, things like occlusion. If there's a sound that is behind a mountain or a wall, um, if there are, for example, layers of sound that come in when there's more of different types of enemies on the screen, or transitioning from theme to theme if you have like dynamic music systems very dynamic it's dynamic music and audio systems um so this interface should have some type of event workflow we got folder property editor default work unit with no children not sure what sound banks are can I import maybe some audio? I'll start with that. Figure out how to play it. Schematic. Oh, yeah. So we have interactive music, game object profiling, profiler, sound bank, designer. I have my audio configuration for mixing in 7.1 or 5.1 if I wanted to do that. Uh, let's see. If I want to save my layout, that looks like that's what that does. <laughs> Audio trickery. I will definitely try it. But it is pretty neat. It's also, um, for indies, they have a really good deal. It is free until you cross a certain threshold of uh, income for your studio. Um, so I get to mess around with it. You get to mess around with it if you're interested. 
um, with no penalties. They, you know, a lot of these companies want you to learn their tools, and that's great because then you can kind of upgrade into a studio that is looking for an audio thing. If you're into that, let's import some audio assets. Let's see, add folders. I know I just want to grab. I just want to grab my downloads folder. Here, let's add a file from there. <sighs> Seriously? All right, so I have to convert these guys out to WAV files. That's exciting. Go to Finder real quick and do exactly that. All right. And you can't see what I'm doing because I have full screen so many apps. Oh, no, this is a desktop. Okay, cool. I can do this. So I'm going to go to downloads real quick. I have a couple of MP3s that I need to open with. Audacity, just to make waves. We're just making waves over here. We're getting real serious. Um, so here are those Audacity projects. There are two of them. Especially when Audacity decodes an MP3, it's practically a wave at that point. So you can just export. Where's my mouse? There it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Export a wave 13 seconds late. I don't know what that means. Cool. No, I don't want to save changes. You can go on my desktop now. Thank you for playing. Go back to this guy. Uh, can I refresh this? Well, hey, here they are. Awesome. <clears throat> so I do have some sound effects. Let's see. What are these? Templates. Can I preview them from here? Nope. All right. But they are uh, basically, I think, different stems. I don't know if any of these are like the full audio for this track. Wait. Um, so let's grab these guys. Import. And now they show up somewhere, I would assume, in audio. Willing to make a jerk out of myself on a daily basis. Hey, Dogen 3, how's it going? How much have you overclocked? Tell me about your computer plans. Game Sync's computer set. see. I don't want to see like a quick start for this thing. Yeah, yeah, Unity project. To upgrade or modify the integration. You can do that from our launcher thing, this guy. Um, I kind of want to quit Unity first, just to make sure that I'm not... It asks me to, you know, over you're overstepping. So that does that pretty, pretty plainly. I haven't you seen... And I just imported audio. There's no way that's just going to play. It's the blue screen of life. So let's see. What can I do with this? Usually I'll get an error. Looks like it says in our console. Initializing sound engine. Sound engine initialize. Good. Maximize on play is off. So that's just going to happen every time we start the game. Um, you can check your sound engine settings here. If I edit my project audio settings, or it's audio mode. Do I have a specialized plugin? Ooh, I do, but I'm not using it. Sweet. But your core audio settings for Unity sort of live there. So if you have a only a hundred megahertz more. I see, I see. That's pretty good. I mean, as long as you're running that stable, right? You should be pretty set. I haven't really overclocked. I know a guy. I know a guy who overclocked like a madman. But I'm thinking about taking on this project in the next week or two. And I wanted to get a head start on using perhaps this as a solution. 
Let's see, I can capture audio. This one is like space to play things. No object, include only. Well, let's see. Oh, here are my files. There's my master audio bus. Let's see if I can just get the, uh, this thing. It almost did something. I don't see it. Ah. Interesting. Okay. Here we go. So, you can hit space to play. I don't know where that transport is. I guess it's at the bottom here. Yeah, right here. That might be a different view. Yeah. Um, it might bring it, it might have brought it up behind this window. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah, it's there. It's there. Alright, let me just move this guy over. Yeah, because that other window is showing up off screen. You can kind of see it, like, over there. I just want that one. But, unfortunately... Is there a way to close it and move those windows over? Or do I have to set my computer on fire? I don't know. I'm as confused as you right now. But I also should just be able to close it. Yeah. There it is. It's behind here somewhere. But I guess you're saying there is a wave editor. So yeah, maybe this is like loading it in wine in the background. Oh, interesting. Um, I would like to maybe add markers for loop. That would be pretty useful. I want to know where that window disappeared to. Um, but let's also change maybe our audio settings. Because um, it's playing off of my laptop. Or when I have, I guess, this selected. Can you hear that? Oh, no, that's coming through for sure. So, no answers. There's the instrumental with chorus, and there's a version with no answer. Cool. But you're right, I should probably be able to bring up the editor in order to see those things. Or how to make a difference here. It's you, it's you. Edit. Somehow. But is this duration in seconds? Okay. Duration in seconds, samples, transport control. Do, 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 do. You find out a thing. Oh. Uh, yeah. I've been told that. What is this? What is this button? I want all these windows to work. Remote connections. Neat. So I wonder if there is like if there are API calls that I should be concerned with, right? That is script that's like a wise test. And of course it'll be in C sharp. I'll edit this guy. I just want to check out that namespace. I want to see what's in your namespace, wise. So I'm using Visual Studio Code once again. Um, it looks like OmniSharp is updating. That's great. Um, 
wise libraries are going to be public static in order for me to access them. So I can maybe have wise object IDs, texts, and settings. Uh, based. I don't know. Um, I just want to see what is in my face. Okay. Hmm. So we're working with, I guess, sound banks, pickers, and game objects are kind of core components of their system. Let me see anything about their documentation. Would be good to know. Uh, let's just go. Where's the... Alright. Actor, mixer, master hierarchy. Good. Game sync. I want to know... Project samples. Did we download their... Sound seed impact, WISSCK. Let's see. Making music interactive. I'm kind of curious about this. I'll just download it. See what happens? Because <clears throat> that's kind of part of the process. The goal for this this game. Um, is I have like a series of let's go back to where my audio files are. So I have I have the acapella for this educational uh, multiplication thing. Let's multiply, 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 multiply. Right, and I have the instrumental. Let's multiply, multiply, multiply. That that's not it. <laughs> that's that's not what I'm looking for. Let's Am I doing this wrong? All right, it's just I'm just hitting space, but it's the wrong file. Let's close that. No, I don't want to change the transport control view. I just want to change the file I'm pointing at. So then this is the instrumental, um, and I can't get into terrible detail about what this project is, but it's actually a really good test bed for a couple of things that we're doing here. And so I want to make sure that these stems, right, the stemmed out, the acapellas, and just the beat. Um, maybe it's a version with a chorus, I don't know, it's bigger. I'm not sure, I just picked up a couple of these resources a little while ago. <clears throat> and I want to sync up the two things and have logical loops that take, like, you know, punch the audio in and out, punch the vocals in and out. So. You want to have loop points in your beat and make progress through the song, and then also trigger the acapella, like parts of the acapella at the right time. Whether you have the correct answer or you don't, True. and it kind of just keeps looping and lets you try again. Right. Um, through some kind of event handling or... Yeah, and yeah. I'm trying to learn what those events are right now. I just mm -hmm. downloaded this thing. Let's save this really quick. Come back to it. I just, is it, is it going to ask me to save it? I'm kind of worried now. But yeah, control S. Oh, yeah, this is totally running inside of a Windows emulation. That's crazy. Can I just, can I just quit it? Like control Q instead of, instead of command Q? Yep. Some weird other control scheme. Um, but has anybody in chat used this tool before? Do you know anything about this? Because I don't... <laughs> I mean, from the few tutorials I've seen, just kind of perusing through as we started debating and kind of getting into it, um, uh -huh. I just looked through mostly how it handles audio um, and effects and whatnot, and it seems like a very solid audio editor, as well as manager for you know, sound projects and whatnot, but mm -hmm. I didn't get in as far as um, how it handles the sound object in games. So okay. I, I didn't get that far, but 
there's definitely a lot of a lot of options involved. Um, there's uh, a way to randomize your sound effect. So if, for example, you have um, a, a repetitive sound like a clicking or a snapping or something, but you don't always want it to sound the same, um, it gives you like a random range that you can go into um, to change pitch, change fades, change you know what direction the sound's coming from. Um, and then, of course, you can also do all that by hand by just setting it up that way if you already know the situation. So um, it also seemed to have a material recognition or something like that, mm. where it will be able to change the sound based on the materials that are around. So sound bounces off of things differently. Oh yeah. And uh, if they usually will use something like that in the context of like um, material ideas. Right. So if I'm standing on metal versus rock versus grass or wood. You know, the sound of the footstep is different. So right. we have this context, you know, scriptable context for audio. Yeah. So, you know, the first thing that I do, four music switch containers. All right. I'm reading the readme inside of this WIS project that we just downloaded from the website. It, their demo of interactive music. And uh, links to this article about interactive music in depth. Uh, let's see. Maybe I could get Chrome up or something like that, just in case. Put Chrome on everything. Uh, talking about <clears throat> dynamic music creation using Will Wise, and we'll use that project to follow along with this article, which I'm not going to read. I mean, I will read it, but I'm not going to sit here and read you this article. If you're curious, I will send it to you in chat. Over here, if you're interested in this kind of tool, um, <clears throat> let's see, you know, since we're here though, let's just open it up and jump in. Jump into it. So, there's an X2W project file, or a WUPROD. <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of this tool. There is no Windows program configured to open this type of file. Well, that was useful. Does that mean it's just not gonna open? Because I'd rather, you know, I'd rather that it did open like a little bit. Let's see. Ooh, what's this? Wis documentation. Hey, Apple Common English. Let's open that and show me where you're at. Sweet. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So we actually do have documentation in the form of HTML files, which is the same format as the Unity documentation. Unity integration help, is that a, either a duplicate of this file or what? It looks like it's the same thing. Yeah. All right. So, in an effort to, I wonder if they have like a. I guess these are just different classes, with really bad names. Cool. Well, let's open up this. I'll come back to the other thing. Main page. Sweet. This is more my speed. All right. The use of the sound engine in Unity games for Wise. It is referred to as integration. Ooh, sounds hot. API bindings in C Sharp with a few helpful components in the editor to understand the fundamental features of this SDK. Refer to its documentation both online. All right, so we've installed and upgraded what? I guess we'll start here. Wave components. So. First thing that I see that I want to try out is like, is there a whole bunch of AK stuff? There probably is. Look at that. Yeah. So AK, their audio kinetics. We actually have quite a few different AK objects or AK classes. Um, that's neat. Oh, so it's just audio kinetic, I yep. guess. Pretty sweet, yeah. actually. The first thing to really get a handle on. Let me get my chat up in front of me. 
you guys have any tips, questions, answers, or whatever. But yes, dynamic game music. We actually, um, you may have heard about, um, not MIDI dot wave, but um, table, the tabletop um, project that we were talking about. We want to make music that can go along with games like Warhammer, so we're gonna release um, layered music and dynamic like soundtracks that are backed by WR. So. These are, let's see, our frequent usage scenarios and what these different things can do. So chat with me, I'll chill with you, um, and when we have something special going on, I'll freak out and explode the table. There's a foot in my purview. I'll, I'll break them. Break, I'm, a, break a toes. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, description for the game object. Okay. Yes, audio engines definitely have to be very serious about timing. Like, that's what, that's the strength and flexibility that we want, right? We want to look at what can, what can you do for me in time? Looking at documentation. This component's more useful for ambient sounds, okay? Related to the scene van object. For example, if we were to walk into a cave and, you know, enable the dripping layers of, you know, water running down rock, the audio listener is different from a normal audio listener. Interesting. Normal audio listener in Unity does a certain thing. It listens for audio. Usually it's attached to your camera. Um, but this happens to already take over. So if the audio listener script that has replaced the main audio engine, all right. Does it follow, or is it attached to the camera? Yeah, it's attached. It's right oh, now. there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Okay. Lovely. Big Reverb zones, good. Loads and unloads a sound bank at a specified moment. Vorbis can be decompressed at a specified moment. Okay, okay. Vorbis is your OG player, your OGG files. It's very, very good quality, lightweight audio compression. Nice. Hmm. Uh, environment portal. This area is between two environment zones. It allows mixing between both zones. Needs. Sugar. Unity. Huh. Object. Game object. Okay. Keep track of its own position in other games, such as Switches, RTPC. Yes. yes. What does that mean? Real time player control, maybe? A rootin' tootin'. Rootin' poop tootin'. Shootin'. Hootin'. Tootin'. Rootin'. <laughs> Stupidin'. I don't know. Let's see. Let me find out. Okay, okay. Real time control protocol? Ah. Possibly. <laughs> It's not bad. In, in Italy, it's the Public Service Telephone Network. That's what that stands for. <laughs> Sound in state. Whenever this event is triggered, for example, the component could be set to a or switch. See, also WIS picker. Okay. Hmm. Three ways to add sounds to your game. Good, because that's what I need. I need sounds in this game. Like right now. The Using the wise picker. Two. It's the simplest way to add a sound to an object. Just drag the event from the wise picker and show an object in the Unity viewer in the inspector. Oh. It automatically creates an AK ambient component on the target game object. Sweet. Alright. So, why don't we just do that? WIS Picker is this tab they added here, right? And one thing that's really cool about Unity is it's really easy to just punch in, make a new window class, right, that fits in this this category. You know, oh, yes, I have my WIS Picker window, right? And we can give it a location. <laughs> we have a member of the Foot Clan among us. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> um... <laughs> But let me see, now that I have 
I don't have any events, which is sound banks or states inside of this thing. Is there a way maybe to generate a sound bank or refresh state? I want to see the same thing. These might be two different projects, but I want to see... Where is WS? Oh, it's like not open. That's exciting. Sound banks generation error. What is this? What is your problem? Did you leave alphabet poop in something? No, I haven't typed really anything yet. Huh. Uh, fatal error. Cannot write id.h file. Okay. Thanks. Uh, it could be that the WIS project for this scene, or this game, isn't actually loaded. There is no program. There is no program. So I think that the wise launcher actually is kind of the key to this this first set of mistakes that we're working with, right? <clears throat> Let's see what projects I have up, and I just want to open that project here, and we're good. There we go. Now you're thinking with audio stuff. We're getting our layout out. We're getting, hopefully, our audio is still around. Those are not assets that I have to load in here. I have to generate those sound banks. Kind of through this other project. Source editor. Hey, it's that window that, that we lost mm -hmm. of yesteryear. Indeed. Cool. So where is, let's just do instrumental chorus. We'll focus on that. Right? And you're saying down here, I have this editor. Right? Mm -hmm. This looks kind of cool. Mm-hmm. PCM waves. All right. Yeah. Look at that Windows emulation. Uh this is Ben language. <laughs> Wine is not a Windows emulator. Alright. Can I choose maybe the position the start the starting point? That'll bend Ooh, to fade. fade. Yeah, it'll Ooh. fade something in and out. That's and then cool. I think the bottom anchor is the one the blue Oh no, it's right there. Never me in. Oh no, that's just where you start. Oh, it's a loop point. This is important. This is actually one of the things that I really wanted to focus on <laughs> <laughs> for this project in particular. To have really natural looping points. You know, like normally we do this kind of thing live, right? Or with Ableton Live. Mm -hmm. Or actually, I use Audacity um, as well to find that point in your project that you can actually loop back to. It's important for games. Very well, because, you know, in the tradition of we don't have a whole lot of space, how are you going to do that? <laughs> how are you going to make this song long enough? And the answer is looping points. So if that's the beginning of the loop point, this must be the end of the loop point. It's gotta be. Gotta be. It's gotta be. Um, and this might be sample accurate. Let's see. Oh, we can look at the uh, root mean square. Wow. That's cool. What is a root mean square? Um, it is a type of measurements we can look that up i don't know the specific oh. i don't have i don't have a specific answer for you that's cool rns or root mean square all right the statistics and its applications the root mean square oh yep, 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 yep. okay but the quadratic average of a particular case of generated or generalized average was the second x Dope, dope, dope. It's just another, it's another scale of, it's another way of looking at a signal, right? Mm -hmm. It's another way of measuring the magnitude of something, right? <clears throat> like, I don't, you know, just, just the hit itself doesn't seem to be enough. All right. The thing that's driving me nuts is I know there are people in this building who've used this. Would you like me to get one of them? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's your trim. Okay. okay. So we can edit. Now, how can I, like, zoom in? Is there a way to... There we go. So now we can get to the actual sample accurate, each dot here being... If you can see that. Each dot being kind of that, that, that looping, or the actual point where audio can play, right? I wouldn't say that it actually loops, but it is pretty accurate. So I guess then it'll be a little bit like Audacity. I can zoom... I'm holding control, I can zoom in one, 
Oh, I guess up and down. That's like whatever. I just I want to also be able to scroll side to side, but maybe that's just maybe it's just my luck that I have to click through it. Is there another way to scale my view that's a little less finicky? Because as you can see here, where I want this loop point to begin, I mean, fortunately, it's like an electronic track, right? So it'll be really easy to find like the one, <laughs> uh, right? I play from the loop point? That would be convenient. Wow. Uh, one thing you want to do when you are looping, there should be a way to adjust. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm that I'm starting the loop at a zero crossing. That's where both the left and the right sample, like this top channel and the bottom channel, are basically at zero. Oh, okay. Zero cross. Very important. To avoid clicking, like being a little bit off in time is better than having a non-zero looping point. Right. Yep. <clears throat> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> uh, math is anything to hate. I guess not advantageous. It's not good to hate math. You just hate it because you don't understand. <laughs> Different thing. Oh, wait, wait. I have kind of... Oh, Ooh. I have discrete scroll, so that's shift. Shift and scroll wheel. It is just like audacity. Okay, good. It's just the interface is so smooth. It weirds me out. All right, is there a way to let's have a let's have a look at our documentation again? You are not. There we go. Uh, I want to find. I, is this searchable by chance? Like wys loop ys loop zero crossing. Let's just let's let's all Google together. Google Creating a loop. Together. Searching Ooh, forever. we got actual documentation. Creating a loop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You may, however, want an object to play more than once. In this case, you can write a loop. All right. It is a region loop. Let's loop the sounds. Do this and this. Define the playback behavior, select the loop option. So load the object into the property editor. Alright, so let's assume that that's pretty close for now. Um, I have to zoom out. This guy, yeah. Oh, whoa, mm -hmm. uh, Very sensitive. It's so sensitive. <laughs> oh, you're gonna cry. I think I might. Alright, and let me just, you know, in an effort to not spoil whatever the heck I'm trying to not spoil. Who's here? Uh, I said you haven't seen him in a while. I'll go check, alright? Sure. I'll be right back. Don't do anything while I'm gone. No, I'm kidding. I generally <laughs> don't. Make it. I would assume... Oh, really? Not bad. Ooh, I have options. Okay. Can you convert? Ah, that's a good question. What can you convert to? Oh. Audio file conversion. You know, those Windows audio files. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's okay. It, it did it. The bar moved. I saw it. Did something. All right. So this is a property view, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I should be able to enable looping. And I can say how many times it loops. That's cool. Stream. 
uh, zero latency, ideally. And I can probably listen to it now. Where it will go through... Can I view this while it's doing that? Like, I need... I want to see it play ahead just as an illustration. Mm. Ooh. Let's multiply, multiply, let's multiply, 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 and we learned a little bit about multiplication. True. We're going to learn our ones, twos, and threes. It's going to be great. All right. So, oh, can I add multiple regions for looping? Hmm. But I have to edit the audio itself and, like, do a loss, do, like, a like straight transition, like, from section to section. Right? Mm, like possibly, say, yeah. Like, so we're, we have one on, we have one, section of the song uh -huh. right and then we queue up our next loop and then we have like i don't can i play it from here like that's kind of useful that's <laughs> that's not very useful <laughs> um now you can obviously duplicate inside the project itself but i right don't know if that would be i don't know if that's the best way to do it is what i'm saying well oh uh, it's interesting like i might be interested i might have an interest in doing that work too well. Ooh, I wonder if you can just get that beep. Oh sure. And get a It's like a here? like a granular synthesis yeah. type of effect. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to rename this thing. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Our first sound effect in WS. <laughs> there you go, guys. Done. That's pretty good. Now, so, visual basic. Okay. We get it. So there's this looping thing, but, you know, yeah. I need to save this as an asset that I have access to in Unity. Because right now I just have this really gray and complicated audio player. Mm. But there are effects we can do. We can do stuff, mm -hmm. right? We can edit. Let's see. Ooh, there are inserts. Yeah. What you got? What you got? Ooh, yeah. I wonder if it can interface with, uh, like, if it's a VST host. Oh. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, Probably not cool. the case, though, because it wouldn't be, like... I would look in Google. Nah, I, 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 I doubt it. doubt it. I doubt it, yeah. Well, I'll <laughs> check anyway. But there's some cool stuff in there. Um, you know, pretty normal. A lot of delay type effects. Um, a couple of FFT effects. Um, meter... I'm curious about the the logic though. That's gonna be a thing, right? Um, center real time. Maybe is that what this thing is? I'm looking around for the whole. Where's the scripting part? Like I'm really excited about that. I've been told a lot about. No, you can you can have these behaviors. You can have these states. And let's see, add a new state, right? Uh, sure. And I'll just call this uh, multiply. Uh, loop stages, something like that. All right. Maybe the show is called a little help because I need a little help. I actually have a a on my desk. I have a there's a there's a I have like a like a program structure for this thing. Like I had like a plan for this show. Is yeah. it like on paper? Yeah, it's on the. The, the lip of the desk there. Alright. So, what do I do with this state? So it takes a certain amount of time to transition between things. I can leave notes for some other person. Transition from one thing to another. Switches and triggers are also things. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah. So I wonder if we can maybe can I make new assets out of these guys? Like copy and just paste. 
right? So here's the copy of it, and I want to maybe rename this to, huh? Yeah, it's yellow. Uh, ALH. A little help. You're watching a little help on the potion. Rapid run, thank you. What the heck did I write on this thing? Okay, cool. I actually had a plan. I wanted to show you guys specific stuff. Oh, that's cool. Anyway. Now I remember. Um, so I'm not quite sure how long we have been up. What is going on? What? Um, let me check our chat, or our app, our stream hatchet. I think I want to make Unity Squeak. Hopefully that works if we're in the right project. Object names cannot be empty. Yeah, I get, I gotcha. Please specify a different, I'll do the best I can. You just, you have to believe in me, wise. I'm not. Is this one of those tools that, like, if you don't look at it for five seconds, it crashes. Because <laughs> that's, needs, needs that's all, what I feel like is going on right now. Needs all your love and attention. Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to quit this thing again. Uh, I wonder if it has an auto save. It's so like, I, I wonder if it's, if it's like, if it's just dying on me. Uh, I don't know. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna quickly have a look at Wine Loader. I know it's you. I know it's you, Wine Loader. Why you gotta be that way? Alright. Oh, that's the other company. wait for this to load up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Got my source editor. I got my audio with chorus. I got my audio with no answers. But I would love to skip through a bit more. Like I need not I don't need a playhead. It's not gonna kill me but kinda drives me nuts. Alright. Select loop, loop options become visible, infinite number of loops, yes, yes, yes. Alright. Cool. Kinda wanna read this to you. What, what's that? Um, Heavy by Enzine Audio is a framework for easily, cause you can put this Enzine thing into WISE, uh -huh. or something like that, it's a plugin. Framework for easily generating audio plugins for use in interactive sound and music applications, such as games, instruments, and installations. It makes use of pure data as a font end and uh -huh. generates a wide range of plugin formats for pure data patches, including Unity 3D, VST, WIs, C, and JavaScript. Okay. So maybe that's a plugin creator for. That's interesting. Rapid Run, how did you get sick? That sucks. Being sick is not fun. Um, that's wrong. Well, okay. I'll have to look, that, look into that a little more. I do with this thing. Right. Cool. So back to our Unity documentation. Here's our class list, main page, using Unity, using WI's components, okay. That looks good. So what is the WI's picker? Actually, hold on, I saw something here. Using the picker, you just add a sound. Drag an event. So we need an event. Aha, here's the clue. I need to create an event. Which I thought I had. Kind of hard to see. These sunglasses. Even harder to see without them. So there aren't any events. There's dynamic dialogue and event. Default work unit. Can I maybe create a new event? Uh, do 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 do. An empty event. Neat. It's like, uh, for example, here. 
Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um, rapid run, you might be in the domain of some some type of child who, you know, carries diseases. I actually don't know how. Yeah, that's sick. just an assumption. I just do. Event actions. I want you to play. Maybe you need a little more vitamin C there, rapid run. A little bit of vitamin C. Let's see. Let's multiply. Object. I want that sound object. In the tab. Good. I want you to loop. I want you to scream through the engine. I want to edit this sound effect to make sure that my looping region is just the core or the cheering at the beginning of the song. Right? And I'll get all get all in there on detail. So those of you who in chat is actually like making music, I don't know. Cause I wanted to do a thing today where we just did a quick run of music for an hour. Just make a song. You have an hour. Um it's not by any means an original idea. But it's a great way to practice. Yeah, I gotta get on that Reaper. Reaper's cool. Uh, gotta jump on that Reaper. Can I change the loop type to bounce? I have tiniest. Is this millisecond? It's a makeup game. Yeah, I didn't hear those loop points changing. It's a will wise. Do I have an event? Let's save my project real quick. And now I should have something in events. Hey, amazing. I can't really preview that, but I can definitely put it somewhere. Like my main camera. Or a new empty game object. Um, or like a cube, I don't know. Me neither. Um, let's give it a label so I can at least see it in the world. By that I mean right here, boom, here's the thing. So let's take the sound event. Right? Environment aware, affected by the environment, need to have a rigid body attached. I'm not worried about that. Um, apply to position at offset, eh, fair. Some sort of ambient script. Trigger on, is that the start function? Yes, it is. So I can choose between different um, callback functions, whether they're within the audio kinetic engine or they're within the Unity engine. So awake, start, and destroy, um, and that will be things that we can use to start sound. So this is just this is just a component that um, <laughs> that interfaces with Unity events um, to synchronize the other engine. So you think if I just put Press play, will it play the sound? I don't know. I hear nothing. Why 
is my Z default 90 something in the way? I wonder if they're like synthesis synthesizers. Zero zero one. All right, let me get out of two D view real quick and figure out where my camera is in relation to my other object. Right here. All right, good. Against the wall. It's plugged in. Event name cheer. Okay, cool. Trigger on start. So does that mean that I have to script any of these objects or what? Listeners, everything. Cool. So there are also layers of listener. Neat. Are these layers that exist within Unity as well? Like if I go to here? No. Anyway. <clears throat> Okay, okay. Provides a list of unity. <laughs> Can somebody hear that and I can't? Or are you just talking about the Space Jam? The Space Jam crowd. Let's see. You can also post your code triggers, as a fan list for your coworkers, adding new triggers to WS events, that's fine. The name of our events. Yes, action on events. Um, let's actually maybe edit up our event a little bit. So, yes. Play. Uh, is maybe like, there isn't like a loop option, is there? I can set it to loop a certain number of times. Why is its voice volume zero? Wouldn't I want it to be higher than, I guess negative zero, yeah. Higher than the negative. But I'm not seeing very much information about that kind of thing. Let's save this again. Control S. Hey. Okay. Thanks. So much reading. Welcome to the documentation jam. Uh, let me see how long we've been up. Oh, we actually have an uptime event now in our in our robot. I can I can do that. Been on for an hour. What? Yeah, yeah it's been an hour and twenty four minutes. That's that's pretty good. Well, I still at least want to make a sound in Unity using WIs. I think that, it, you know, starting there is pretty good. Um, so, I don't know. I feel like generating sound banks is going to cause a... Wait a minute. Sound banks generation error. Did you make sure to load the appropriate sound bank? I don't know. Do I, do I have a sound bank? Also, do I need an audio source? I imagine that this guy is the audio source, and that you are the audio listener. The listener ID is at layer zero. <laughs> All right, you can choose events from here. Me neither. Mm. Item, empty game object. Started with, and then a K object. Watch the VOD. I might want you I might want a different AK. Well, maybe. Trigger on everything. Boom. Use other objects. I don't know. I'm just pressing buttons. Cool. 
That's how I learn anything these days. Mm. Interesting. So check this out. It loads up all of these scripts as well. It's kind of neat. What's in those scripts? Oh, those are just... Oh, it's everything, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's neat. That's what that does. If I trigger this on start, does it have a start function by default? Action on event. Uh, could not post event ID. Did you make sure to load the appropriate sound bank? Where are my sound banks? Meow, meow. Are Tricker they in here? Sound banks. Yes, they are. So that means I should have something similar in WISE. Sound banks, default work unit. New sound bank. Um, and this is going to be multi audio, I guess. Multi audio is kind of what we do now. What are the properties of a sound bank? Like, how does that stuff work? Oh. It looks like another editor kind Disapp of showed up and disappeared. Yeah. Uh, cool. No. No, um... But I'm inside of something. Default work unit. What does this button do? Create a new work unit or create a new sound bank. So I have a sound bank. Um, but it doesn't seem like anything has particularly reflected that. I have my event viewer. So I can see what's going on with the events. But not time. what's going on with this. Oh. I can't seem to move it really anywhere. No, but I would think that you would add audio into a sound bank, right? In definition? Yeah. Completed. A fatal error. That's great. What is this? Samix controlled zero of the 200 permitted. Commercial deployment is not permitted. Cannot write the ID.h file. Uh, can you describe this error to me, please? Let's see. <clears throat> but anyway, it seems that the first error here, the problem is I just don't have any media item. Hmm. All right, cool. I can rename it. I can import a definition, which exists somewhere in here. This text file. Not this is from that demo. It's not what I want. We don't. So when the sound bank is generated, it can include any of the following information. Event information, sound, music, motion, actor, actor mixer, and container information. You know what? I'm going to go out on a limb and save my project and then check that out again. Windows, because now there's like a sound bank editor that's just kind of out there in the world. Um, and I can't seem to get a hold of it, right? Like, it knows it's there. I want you. I want you, Sound Bank Editor. I want to restore you. Or move you to other monitor. Yeah, monitor 2. Just dead center. Move to monitor 1. Move to... There it is. Oh, it's literally on another window. Thank you for doing that. So, here's this thing. I gotta scoot my scound bank when it are over. My scound scound bank manually added sound. So I'm gonna add something there. I was kind of hoping to add. Can I just drag from one frame to another? That seems pretty reasonable. If I have audio, I wanna take the audio that's associated with that. Nope. Hierarchy information. Include. I guess I have to go point at some folders, huh? Yes. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Is there. This is this like a text file that I have to write? Or that this thing will write? Is that the layout? Or the sound bank layout? 
Where'd you, where'd that come? I'm sorry. Type sound effects. Music. Uh, okay. Find all references. Okay. Yeah. Open container folder. I'm going What are you trying to tell me? Open text edit real quick. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's what it said. I'm not worried about that. Revert changes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I have this other thing too. What is the reference to? There's, um, gotcha. Did you try layout in layouts in Sound Bank? What? The top bar menu there. Here? Layout. Sound Bank. What's that do? It seems similar to the other thing. That was it? Can you drag and drop? Free list. Uh, Loading sound bank this is the default work unit. There's this multi audio sound bank. Okay. Um, the max size is and then you select supposed the to be one. 200. Um, can I add sound events to that bank? Well, you have to generate the bank first. It seems like that's what they're they're trying to they're trying to tell me here. In which, in the bank manager, select the sound banks that you want to generate from the platforms list. Select the platforms from which you want to generate sound banks. So on uh, one more right, time. On the right there, platforms. So you select, guy. yeah, and select which one or in English, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Probably. Okay. I mean, um, to begin generating the sound bank, click generate. Press the generate button right here. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. It failed. It totally failed. Okay. Well, maybe we didn't. Maybe that there's something else involved. I'm <laughs> sorry, but that got. We moved hey, forward. Something happened. Yeah, something did happen. Uh, all right, custom user settings. Okay, so to create default settings for your project, these settings are defined in the project settings dialog box. Blah 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 blah. From the things define sound bank settings in your project. Let's see what that Ooh, does. Ooh, so now we have three media items. So at least it's doing that. I don't know what that fatal error is, but it's because it's not writing an ID header. Sunbank so multi-audio is exceedingly specified memory size. <laughs> if I may, what is the specified memory size? Good, good sir. Step, step form post sound bank generation. Okay, that's just these are just basic settings on how to do the sound bank. You want to know what are the? Was it? Sound bank contains three media out of what's the error number or ID? Does it give you one? Uh, mm -hmm. Three out of the 200 permitted. Commercial deployment is not permitted. Well, it said zero out of the other, so. Yeah, it's because I had you added, the added three, those yeah. files so, to this bank. Hmm, there must and be now it's actually giving me a real error. Oh, I see why. Is there. Very, very, very big. 38 million kilobytes. Hmm. 38 million bytes, sorry. That's a lot of bytes, yeah. Because they're all WAV files. Right. So we're going to have to convert these to Vorbis files because they take yes. up a lot less space. Yes. So what I might want to do is make a new hierarchy or delete these resources, one thing or another. I think these are just references. Yeah. I don't think it's going to hurt me to do something like that. Get out of here. Another window popped up and disappeared. I know. It's <laughs> driving me nuts. All right. So I'll delete those guys. I'm going to go to where they exist on my computer but for the fact that I just deleted them. No, it's fine. I'm going to open these guys. Well, let's open Audacity because that's the best tool in the universe. I strongly suggest it. You don't know what this is. 
You're missing out. Let me go to Audacity. I'm gonna export all of these. Whoa. That's team two. Yep, there's something there's something wrong there. There's something going on there. Uh anyway. I'm gonna export multiple. Like so. And it's gonna be the same type of thing. Beyond classification, wrong thing. Um, and I want an Og Vorbis file, yo. Og Vorbis has a lot of options. Wow. Let's just make it like super low quality. Why not? Why not? All right. Let's um, do your thing. Yes, I would like to create the folder. Appreciate it. One, two, three. Compress. One, compress. Two, three, press. One, two, three, press. Anyway. There's yeah. my property editor, another window that showed up on another desktop, another day. Telestron, Nick, ah, Te Tesla, Tesla Tronica. I'm, I, you know, welcome to the chat. I will definitely get your name wrong at least once. <clears throat> um, how are you doing? Interactive music hierarchy. Let's import some stuff. Shift I, add file. Um, I have now. We're well, not gonna take my AUG files. Wave MIDI and ambient. Well, then what the heck was I wasting yeah, my time doing? Because it said it takes four files. I think it might generate Vorbis files by importing them into Unity. Hmm. I don't know. Is there a way to compress them by chance? Let me look. That's fine for now. Operation. Okay. Import. Like your decoded size is too large. I just want to generate something for the current platform, but I don't have enough memory. How very interesting. All right, so maybe I'll get rid of this guy. In my sound banks subdirectory, delete. Oh. Give me a new sound bank. What is a work unit? I don't know. Cool. What are they doing over there? Yeah, is that is that what your strange question mark mean to me, Tesla Teslatronic? <laughs> is that the thing that you need to know right now? So I don't need to make a sound bank for the default work unit. I want to make a sound bank the cool work you know because we're so cool um so new sound bank is this s button cool um maximum size Ooh, i see because we want to make sure when we're exporting our audio assets for our project and we're not exceeding the memory that's allowed on the disc. This is like an interesting, <laughs> this is an interesting artifact of having to fit stuff into other stuff. Um, for the purposes of this exercise, we don't have those memory restrictions. So we might have to make those changes here, I want to say. Um, all right. Okay, there's... That's more about converting the other way from audio wise out. Amazing. All right, cool. We want. And then events, right? You would take your event and you would add that as well. Um, cool. Vocals with chorus, sample rate, this, PCM, that. All right. Details. Maximum size is zero, kind of a non, a non max. I can see what's inside of this. My new sound bank. Uh, data size, decoded size, Mac English. All right, generate. Oh, we're almost there. I have way f I have fewer errors. I have an error ID seven. It includes references to the cheer, which has at least. At least in one instance, you made this event incorrectly. And that's probably true, yes, because I have one missing element in that event. And that event element that is missing 
So if we go into the event editor on this other screen, <clears throat> um, this file has a missing an object, right? Uh, okay. That's so so I want to go back to layouts because that seems to be like a bit cleaner. Oh, is it designer? I think. Yes. And so I can remove this step from the process. What are you doing? So it'll accept wave and AMB files only. Remove on action. AMB Sonic audio. So I'll take that song, which is, I don't know, where is events here. Take one of these songs. So that's something that has like a loop. Events. Sorry. It's kind of double click you. Go into that view. I want to play a thing. Play what? Like play at this point, kind of anything. Just play that, right? Then I can save my project. Oh, I'm starting to feel like I'm, you know, in the last hour I've kind of gone from terrified to, you know, this is neat. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Um, because we're trying to get Unity to play audio using this other interface. It's supposed to be very cool. It, it it seems like it is. I've heard good things about it. Other games I play have this come up. Oh, so. sure. It's very, very robust, as they say, in the software zone. Mmm. All right, so now I can go back to viewing the sound bank editor thing, which should not generate any errors at this point. I can go up. Generate for the current platform. Completed with fatal errors. That's great. Cannot write this header file. Trial mode. Sound banks contain three out of the 200 permitted. Commercial deployment is not permitted. I don't need a commercial license. We're not selling this thing. As it is. <gasps> What is the fatal error? Is it this thing? I don't know. It looks like the new sound bank was created. So, that means this might actually work? I don't know. Let's look at our console, give it a chance to clear its mind, and we'll fight for the future. And all right. Okay. Did you make sure to add the appropriate sound bank? No, I, I didn't. This is the wrong event. Oh, ooh, that makes sense. I see what's happening here. It's interesting how by like, breaking your project to pieces, you can get a sense of what this thing needs to like to actually operate. Yeah. Um, I'll get rid of both of these guys. So I still have my empty game thing. I'll refresh this guy. I have sound banks now, right? Like my cool work unit sound bank that has this new sound bank in it. Um, I don't know if this cheer event is actually part of that of that sound bank. That might be a problem. Hmm. Now that I look at it, right? Like this. Does this dynamic dialogue? No, 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 no. no. Cheer event. It doesn't really say that. It's maybe I should just make just sure. Connect. No, because this is a different unit. Yeah. Oh, how weird. Can I move this into that? I can. Oh. But what is this the sound bank of? I don't know. Can I save this thing? Wait. Can I generate the sound bank now? Instead of the other one? Okay. I don't know. Can I make sure that my event belongs to a different work unit? Or the unnecessary one? Is this the language of our elders? Real quick. Refresh that project, which it looks like it did as soon as I scooted back over to the window here. 
I can just add that to this. Environment aware, not necessary. Apply position offset, that sounds like fun. Um, what does this button do? All right. Trigger on start, yeah, yeah. Text on, says here yeah. for the header file thing, solution for me was simply checking the box. Where? Generate header file in sound bank settings. Uh, somewhere in there, user uh, setting, meow, meow, meow. Where's the sound bank? There's the user setting for the sound bank. Maybe. Maybe. Override sound bank settings. Uh, override in fast. I mean, maybe it's in here somewhere. Generate generate metadata file per bank. Generate header, header file. file. Sure, why not? Yeah, meow. Yeah. Question is, will it work? One way to find out. Generate. Hey. And that went away. Okay, I'll work. Do on any the next more one. errors? Zero warnings or trial mode. Oh no. Oh, uh, it's just letting me know that no. I cannot deploy this commercially. Yeah. But that took care of that. All right. Neat. Moving on up. Are you going to make noise? I think that's a yes. No. <clears throat> now what? Okay. Event ID not found. Hmm. Log error object. Position type, large mode, oh weird, simple mode. I do not know, okay. Meow, 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 a bank. Probable causes, a bank was not loaded or did not load properly. Banks are out of date. Typo in the event name. Typo in the event ID. Recommended solutions. Don't do the above. <laughs> Basically what they're saying. Make sure the, the name or ID is correctly written in the game code. Ensure the event is in a bank and that the bank is loaded. Make sure the banks are up to date. Okay. Well... As far as I can tell, when I've generated this bank, mm -hmm. we're getting the up-to-date. It is created. We didn't exit with any right, errors. Right. That's good to know. Now, they mention in using these components that you can actually trigger audio events through a handful of different ways. music. <clears throat> Numeric IDs instead of strings. The native of you, the native wise uses strings or IDs to also trigger events. Um, so what I might want to do is add the wise test script to this thing, and we'll trigger it on, I guess, nothing. Yeah. I know the event name is cheer. I'm gonna add the component. Oh, I have the component. I'm gonna edit the scripts, which I think is already open right here. The request is timed out. That's great. Um, I can do something like this, aka ambient. Um, let's see. Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. I saw something a little bit more elegant. Yes, AK Sound Engine post event. Post event is probably going to take Cheers, the name of the event. So, AK Sound Engine post event. MIDI on event. And so, we have here oh, wow. uh, we have a uint or event ID. There's probably another version. Whoa. A string. The name, the game object, 
It probably gets pretty thin. Yeah. All right. Bring in that. So that would be yeah. this, right? You think? Blah blah, yeah. Now we should get an error. Like, well, where's that other argument? Right. Unity, no overlord or method. All right, there isn't a version of post event that takes that ar argument, but it takes a game object. Yes. So I can give it this game object, game and. Objects. There should be a version that takes two arguments. Um, and just for me to know that this is happening, um, I would maybe like to do it later. So what I'll do is I'll invoke uh, a function called playtest. All right, and I'll do that in like three seconds. From the start of the program. So I'll take this guy. And I'll move it out to a different function. All right. Play test. We. And that's all it's going to do. The same code, just we moved it somewhere else. Uh, and I'll even. You know. Give why, it. Why you gotta yell? <laughs> I just want to. I just, you know, I want to <laughs> debug. I'm going to make sure that that's happening. I gotta get my attention. Yeah, Tomoki it is. Hello! Hello, my little crow. You seem to be a little clear. Little crow. You need I don't know that I mind that terribly. And yes, it is me on in the invisible yes. area. So, one thing I find interesting is that it's calling it twice. That might have to do with the component mm. itself being on this object. Um, so, if I disable these two components... Then we'll probably only get it the once. So no, hold on. Or not at all. Nope, there no, you go. Twice. Zoom tight. Alright, so that's interesting. So we're looking for an object inside me, neither something, something, something. Failed posting event cheer. Event ID not found. So do I have to use a numeric events ID? And if so, what's the point of naming these events if they're gonna be if they're going to be named. So anyway, what's going on is uh, you're watching me struggle with uh, Ys. First thing I learned about Ys is it's not called WYs. That's a noob mistake. Yep. I should really change the name of the show from a little help to noob mistake. <laughs> because I make those all the damn time. You should time. make a little noob hat for whoever's on, on screen. I, you know, what is it with people in these, these labels? That's all right. All right. Um, Cool, so that's music, that's great. Free space for everyone. Uh, I just created the bank, it did a thing. Here's my sound bank editor. It got these events. They're not saved or something? Why are they? Oh, they're manually added, that's what the asterisk is for there, like that. Not confusing at all. Alright. Do I need a audio bus in this thing? Like, does that have to be part of this? Is that an event that's necessary? Maybe. We're, we're working with it as we go. Yeah, it doesn't but seem to cause problems. New sound banks need to do something. And also, like, what type of object is that actually, right? Um... Noob is part of your name. Then you've come to the right place, Newbert. I'll tell you right now. So these are our, what, work units? If I hover over this thing. Radio it is an audio, audio bus. bus, so that's Radio useful. Auxiliary bus. Okay. I learned a thing there. You know, like, if you're, if you're doing, like, a hyper combo in Street Fighter, right, and you want to have, like, a filter sweep, right. you know, while you're, like, doing the... Raging Demon. Right, right. That's what WIs is for. Right, right, all right. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. It's awesome. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. I'm okay. I just want to hear the Space Jam. Send engine initialized. We're still double. Oh, I know why we're double 
double doing this. Because I put another version of this thing in that thing. Oh. Get out of here, man. Later, dog. Okay. Still. Cannot find an event ID from that game object. And it said so right there. It yeah. said which object it was sitting on. So that seems to work just fine. Except for the whole, you know, not hearing anything part. You know, that's... <laughs> yeah, for, for, you know, working on a sound engine. Yeah. Kind of want to hear... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We got a couple shows coming up today. Yeah. I think we have a uh, James Jerome in the building. Yeah, James here. I know his real name. What's his real name? George. George? Freeman. Freeman. It's pretty cool. Close. Could have been Gordon. Could have been Gordon Freeman. Yeah. We'd all been in trouble. That would have been crazy. I know, right? As far as I know, this thing is playing audio, and I'm just like, Blind, except for this whole thing. How do we fix this? Unity doesn't have like an audio level thing. No, 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 no. no. Okay. I mean, there's a mute audio yeah. button. There's this thing, which gives us information that negative seventy five decibels. We are not playing anything. Our DSP load is nothing. Mm -hmm. And how much of the time are we clipping, or how much of the signal is over? Polish up my sword. My S word, aka Garrick. I don't know who that is. Garrick. Gar oh no, it's Gerald. Is it Garrick of Rivia? Is that are you, are you referring to uh, well, the Witcher? Oh, possibly. I I don't know. I haven't played this game. And he is now beautiful. Oh, oh wait, no. Bennett, was it Tomoki that said he, he makes swords or collects swords and knives? Oh, I see. He maybe has a sword. I think he actually has a sword. Because oh. I know one of, uh, one of the viewers was telling us. I don't know if it was him specifically, but I wouldn't doubt the man has a sword or the person. Maybe it was Gary. Gotta have him. swords. If yeah. you're out there without swords, you're swordless. Yeah. And that could, be, that could be bad. Dangerous to get out there by yourself. Me neither. Ah. So in Portal Two, it Dragon was drop one. The Windows or Windows project. Oh, that was done. Create an event. That was done. Right Let's go back click to read. Sound. And select an event. Create sound bank. Check. Put your event in the sound bank. Can you put an event in the sound bank? You did. You did. I saw that. I witnessed it. Click generate. Now you have something to play. Open the WYS picker window. It should show you your event and your sound bank. Yes. Drag and drop your sound banks on the object in your scene. Oh. I didn't do that. That's my sound bank. All right. Drag and drop your event on an object in your scene. I did that. Play your game. Are you serious? I, I, I hope so. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. It's good. Fish bump. Thank you, man. That was yeah. fun. Yeah. We made it. So now we have audio working through WS. <laughs> um, Ben's the greatest. This is why I love you so much, dude. This is great. Okay. Because <laughs> I just like, I'm always learning stuff with you. It just blows my mind. I'm hey, like, that's let's awesome. Multiply. Let's multiply. <laughs> let's multiply. Preston right. and I are going to go have babies. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> just FYI. FYI. <laughs> um, so that was definitely, that was a little help. I got, I got some help from you guys. Thank you, McPherson um, Sound, for showing me. What wise is not W wise. I'm not exactly W wise. I'm actually pretty intrigued by this program. Um, we're gonna kind of tinker with it and build up some stuff over the week. We got some messages from people um, for Patreon. I think our nightbot is on drugs. If you've got a message saying check us out, if you're here watching us right now in this small test kind of thing. I'm going to try and do a little help a few times a week, I think. Um, 
for fun. Awesome. And, you know, to help with these little things. You can see how much we can grow up these projects. We'll make interactive audio for our, our games and for apps using Unity um, or Unreal or whatever, really. I mean, it's just a, it's just a buffer control kind of engine. Um, I don't know. Where's our... Do we have a control room guy up? Is there a guy? No, I can go over there, dude. You want me to? Um, do we have a Do we have a up next uh, for for Malachi Swayba? Let me check. I'll go back there and check. So, that would be cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I think I can do a lot of printing. Wait a minute. Wrong button. You pressed the wrong button. Cool. But no kind of crazy script. A ton of knives. We need nine more bends on screen. I'm going to call up. I have at least one more bend right here on screen. Um, but that was a lot of fun. But be be ready to see more of this type of project. I know that you know Robbie and a couple of other guys around here want to do pretty basic uh, Unity introduction stuff. Get some game developer dudes ready and going. I use this tool a lot. I help a lot of people a lot. I like to be a little helpful. So, um... Oh, we're up at 6? Okay, so we're gonna come back in an hour, guys. Um, but thank you so much for watching A Little Help. My name's Ben, also known as Angry Crow. I have no idea what the heck our ticker says because I didn't write it this time. But I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and helping me out with uh ws today uh peace goodbye i'm so green i should be playing that